First look, and Om is looking sharp in the SH figure arts format. Proportionally, I think they nailed the art style. Studio Trigger's eccentric proportions don't always translate well in figure form, but Bondi did a good job in this one. Om is wearing a Sith armor, aka Dark Armor, and that name rings true. It's very dark. The mix of flat and gloss provide a much needed visual breakup, in spite most of the armor being all dark plastic. A few distinctions to her outfit are the cleanly defined glossy skirt and the latex thigh-high boots that go all the way down to Om's sharp red heels. Surprisingly, the heels don't really affect much of her balance, and even with a poseable cape, Om maintains her balance no problem. Looking at her profile though, I think it looks close enough. Her cheeks are a bit puffier, and I would have preferred a jawline that's a bit sharper, but still, in terms of likeness, it's close enough. Even looking at her from the side, and it still looks good. Articulation starts with a ball at the head, look side to side, look up and down, her neck is on a ball, the hair can go up and down and even kinda swivel. The shoulder pads are independently movable, chest swivel, waist is on a ball socket, Om has no problem asserting her dominance, double jointed elbows, a legally distinct beautiful spread, a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and for this one you gotta be careful, because it easily breaks the sculpt. The knees are pretty horrendous when they bend too deep. The ankles are on a hinge, when you turn the hinge sideways, you'll get a workaround pivot. Accessories begin with what else? Replacement hands. A total of six, three pairs. Om gets a trifecta of alternate faces, the first being this maniacal smiling face, the second being a shouting face, which I like to think is Om's default emotion. And lastly, we get this O face. Next we have a helmeted head sculpt. A really clean looking sculpt, a mix of Vader's vent mouth and third form Freeze's side profile. Or a xenomorph, if that's more your bag. But we all know what we're here for. When Om gets really angry, she pulls out not one but two lightsabers with raging red beams. But when she gets even angrier while being supercharged by the kyber crystal, Om deploys extra mechanical arms with even more red lightsabers. Now she's extremely angry and extremely grievousy. The only thing that would have made this even better is lightsabers that connects at the heels. Size comparison, here's Om next to SHF Goku, Figma Saber 2.0, my last review SHF Gallantmon, and finally next to SHF Kare. I'll save my final thoughts at the very end because up next we have Kare and... First look, and Kare comes off a bit more simplistic than his twin. A black and white costume may not be the most exciting, but I think Kare pulls it off pretty well. Proportionally, this figure fits the on-screen model, and I think when it comes to lightness, Kare nails it a bit closer than Om. I kinda wish the hair was a bit brighter though, and there are a few things that bug me. When you look a bit closer, and you compare the face, the neck, and the chest, it looks like the skin tones don't even match. And that's not an isolated incident. When we focus on the hands and the sleeves, the skin tones also don't match. My last visual gripe, Kare's knees are horrendous. Now these are the exact same knees that Om has, but the difference is, Om's knees actually blends well with her outfit. It starts to look bad when it gets bent. So yeah, Kare a bit more problematic on the looks department. Articulation starts with a ball at the head, look side to side, look up and down, the neck is on a ball, the arms are on a dumbbell joint, double jointed elbows, waist swivel, another legally distinct beautiful spread, a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and much like Om, when they bend too deep, they break the immersion and they look really bad. The ankles are on a hinge, face the hinge sideways and you get a workaround pivot. 
Accessories start with what else? You guessed it, replacement hands. Six in total, three in pairs. Kare has a pair of alternate faces. One is a screaming face, and the other is this face. This face. I really dislike this face. It doesn't do the character nor the art style any justice. Like, what even is this? What the hell even is this? Were you trying to recreate these faces? Well, this face failed miserably. The absolute state of this face. Anyway, onto something that's actually good, we have Kare's lightsaber. The beam gradiates from purple to blue, and he grips it no problem. Kare's final accessory is a surprising but welcome one, and that's his dark armor. More specifically, the top half of his dark armor. Replace the torso, install Kare's arms, and you even get gloved hands. A pretty sharp look. The helmet is clean and the silhouette reminds me of a stormtrooper. And much like Alm, the cape is fully poseable. This is a very cool look. But it does come with a caveat. The sleeves are supposed to be black. Lazy lazy, Tamashi! They should have given us the proper colored arms. But honestly, I don't think it's that big a deal, but come on, man. Accuracy. Also, if you want to have Kare wield his lightsaber while wearing the dark armor, you'll have to switch out to the ungloved gripping hands because the only gloved hands you get are fists. To be fair, you only see Kare wielding a lightsaber when he's no longer in the dark armor. But come on, why not? And this may be a non-canon look, but you can also pull a non-helmeted dark armor, and it's pretty badass. But again, with another caveat. The ball joint on the dark armor is considerably thicker than the socket on Kare's head. You run the risk of permanently loosening the non-helmeted head. Kare has an impressive spread of accessories, but it feels like there's always something easy that holds it back from being even better. Size comparison, here's SHF Kare next to SHF Vegeta, Figma Archer, my last review Gallantmon, and finally, SHF Om. The twins as a set are the very definition of a mixed bag. I think Om is pretty good, Kare not as much, both have a great spread of accessories, both have a good amount of articulation, both have issues, one has it worse than the other. If you could only buy one, I would recommend Om, but hey, if you like Kare, then by all means. But come on, they are called the twins for a reason.